quick video on this new stove that I got. It's the BRS Titanium. I got it on Amazon for $12. Uh, so I got this stove which was less than an ounce and I wanted to make sure that it was fuel efficient before I got rid of my pocket rocket because if it's not then you know the increased fuel usage just kind of outweighs the, the weight savings there. So I did a test here. I did several tests with um, with wind and no wind and, and full power and low power and I'm going to go ahead and show you my results here. So the Pocket Rocket, $40, weighs 3 ounces. BRS Titanium, 0.9 ounces, 12 bucks. You can probably get the Pocket Rocket for cheaper, um, but I, that's just Amazon, quick price, and what, what most places sell it at. So my test, I did 2 cups of water by weight. Uh, my tap water is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. I did it out of a jug, so it maintained the same pressure from all of it. And I heated it to 210 degrees. A, a full boil is a little bit less than that, like maybe 209 and a half, but I went ahead and, and uh, went to 210 just for testing purposes. So the first one I did was with no wind. And just inside, it's 75 degrees. Uh, they each burn the same amount of fuel, 6 grams. This was on low, by the way, like economy setting. Uh, the, the pocket rocket took about 35 seconds longer. So BRS was the winner, but not by much. Then I put it on high, and I thought that I would burn more fuel. And I've always used this thing on like a low, you know, like a reasonable setting. But if you put it on Bunsen burner and just get it, you br I burn the exact same amount of fuel. So I've been wasting my time all, all these, all this, you know. Anyway, so the BRS, again, was the winner. It was about 20 seconds faster, but nothing special like I say in the same amount of fuel was burned whether I was on a low or a high didn't matter but to be realistic I added a fan across the room which put a modest a light wind uh, pressure on it not too much not ridiculous but just light wind with you know something you would expect being out in the mountains you know like an average and the fuel usage went up uh, 50 percent so we used nine grams but it was the same on both stoves but on this one you know real world conditions the pocket rocket was a lot faster it's a minute and a half quicker so in the real world I think your pocket rocket's going to be faster but as far as efficiency goes and weight savings it was the exact same uh, no no advantage efficiency wise so I think that I'm going to keep using this stove. I will say that um, this stove is a pain in the butt. Currently, I'm using this uh, titanium Snow Peak. I think it's 900 milliliters. And on this one, fits like a champ, will never fall over. You're rocking. On this, yikes. <laughs> you do not want to cook in your tent. Or if you do, you're going to need to have a hand on it because it will fall over. And it has fallen over on me before. It is not... There's not much surface area up on top here. I don't know if I can get it straight down. Comparative to the huge. But I can live with it for two ounces. I'm a grand weenie. All right, that's all I got.